Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. It's gonna be a quick video today. I got a bunch of stuff to do. And it was gorgeous out. It was 84 degrees, sunny, great breeze. And I spent the morning doing day job work and the afternoon driving to a Target eight miles away because the one that I always go to didn't have the shit that I needed. What I did get in the mail today, other than my new boots, which I'm not gonna show you right now, because I'm wearing them to try to break them in. I did get this thing called a Mobilo card. And what it is, it's just a plastic card that has all my information on it, including a QR code on the back. And what it does is it has this NFC communication shit in there. I guess this is all the rage now, the tappy cards and all that kind of stuff. Well, I went with Mobilo or Mobilo, however the hell you pronounce it. And I got a card, a key fob, and a button that goes on the back of your phone. So in theory, I should be able to walk up to somebody when I'm taking pictures or whatever, and they come up and they, you know, hey, you know, are you online and all that kind of shit. I can take this tap the back of the phone and then the information will come up although <laughs> that's not right that was actually somebody texting me so there you tap it and it comes up on the back there and you decide if you want to you know take the information now I've preloaded this and it has an online portal and one on the phone which I've got right there you can go in and you can set your profile Put your name in there, a title if you want it, your phone number, your email, your address if you want it. A whole shit ton of different email addresses and contacts and things that you can do because, I mean, a lot of business people use these for contact leads and they track them and everything. I'm not doing that shit. Then there's a whole other section for social media and you can put in all kinds of stuff from your WhatsApp, Snapchat, things like that. Obviously, I've got my Instagram, Twitter, uh, a bunch of other stuff that have to do with my photography. That's what this is for. This is for when I'm walking around and like when I'm in Great Neck Park and somebody comes up to me and they say, hey, you know, can I see your pictures online? Hey, you got your phone? And I can just tap this and it gives them all my social media and they can go see the various places that I post all of my information, including all my pictures. And I have had that happen to me before back in Pleasure House Point. I had somebody say, hey, you know, would I be able to see what you got today? And I said, yeah, I'm the devious monkey everywhere, blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And then I thought to myself, you know, I keep seeing ads for these stupid things. Um, maybe I should give it a whirl. So I'm giving it a whirl. I will say my initial review of this stuff, or at least of Mobilo, it has a little bit to be desired. I had filled everything out, paid for it, all that stuff. And I immediately got access. I was able to, to log in online, create my profile, put in all my social media and everything. Problem was, though, is that it never showed that I had a card and there was no taps. Okay, great. I didn't get it until today. Then, after I went in and I designed my card, because you can design. I paid for a custom so that I could put my own logo in there and I could do everything I wanted. Otherwise, it would just be a card with an M in it for Mobilo. So I did the custom thing and I designed this exactly the way I wanted it. Then I got an email saying, hey, you need to design your card. And I was like, uh, I already did that. I already uploaded the, the logo, everything, it's in there. And then I got another email saying, hey, we got your design done. Please look at it and accept it or make changes. Got it, looked through it. The only thing that they didn't put on there is I had content creator underneath my name, but I thought, doesn't matter. I can add that into the profile. So when they tap it, it'll say that. And ultimately, I don't give a shit what you call me. I just want you to look at my photography. So I did that. I accepted the design and approved it. Then I got an email saying, hey, just a reminder, you need to go in and approve the design. And I'm like, what the hell? I messaged them back and I said, I don't know why you've asked me to accept the design and approve it. I have already done that. And then I got another email, a third email telling me, hey, it's been a while. You still have to go in there and approve this for us to proceed. So I sent a nasty email back and I said, I have already been contacted three times to update and approve the car design and all that kind of stuff. I have done it almost a minute after you initially emailed me. Three times now you've asked me to update this. It's updated. If you ask me one more time, if I get one more email, telling me that I need to approve the design, 
I am canceling it and I'm blocking my payment so that I don't have to deal with this shit anymore. This is ridiculous. I got an email back saying, sorry, don't know how this happened. Uh, we'll make sure that everything goes through the way that it needs to go through. Okay, yippee. At least they responded. According to when you when you buy all the stuff, it's supposed to be there within 48 hours. It wasn't. But I don't care. This isn't the end of the world for me. So, surprisingly, I, I went, picked up my boots this morning, got home, sat down, and got another email that I got, another package. I was like, uh. So I went and did all my errands and stuff, and then I remembered, oh yeah, I got a package. And I went back, and all this stuff was in the mail. And I was like, okay, cool. So I sat there, and I tapped, and I tapped all over the damn phone, and I was like, okay, maybe you got to turn NFC on. You don't, by the way, for uh, iPhones. Beyond a certain model, it's already on. Android, they've got directions on how to turn that on and all that kind of stuff. Okay, great. It still didn't work. And I literally tapped this all up and down the back of the phone, the front of the phone. I pulled the case off. I tried it everywhere. And I was using my company phone, which is an iPhone 8 Plus. I still haven't gotten it to work. I eventually got it to work here, and it was in one of the spots that I tapped several times. So I don't know why it didn't work. I also tested the key fob, and I also tested the button before I stuck it on the back of my phone. Okay, great. It comes up, but it only comes up with my name, phone number, and email address. It doesn't have any other information. So I go to the website, and I'm looking through it, and, and I'm seeing that, okay, there are four different modes you can be in. One is business card mode, one is social mode, and then there are two other modes that I don't give a shit about. So it tells you where to go on the website or the app where you click on the thing and you can tell it what mode you want it to be in. Kind of lame, I kind of feel like it should give you the business card and all the social stuff because that's what I wanted it for, but okay, I can just set it to social, but I can't set it to social because as of this moment right now, it still doesn't even show that I have one of these things. So I went through and I tried to add it, tried to look to see where I could add it, tried typing in the little itty bitty tiny ass number here that, that I thought maybe was the card reference number, serial number, whatever, didn't work. Nothing works, can't get a card on there. I've tapped this thing probably about 20 times to test it and do things in various places with the fob and this, that, and the other thing, and it does not show that I've ever tapped the card. So, all right, I got shit to do. So I just emailed the company and I said, yeah, I got a problem, and I explained everything. So we'll wait to see how long it takes for them to get back to me and what they tell me. After that happens, I once I get it on, line and it shows a card and I can put it in social mode and I can tap that damn thing and it recognizes it instantly and gives all my information. I'm going to try it with some other people that I run across, see if it works for them. After I go through all that shit, I will give this a final review. Right now, they're not looking too good as far as customer service and the intuitiveness of using their stuff because shit doesn't work the way they say it's supposed to work. Now, we all know that sometimes I'm a dumbass monkey and I do things wrong. I don't think that I have in this case, but if I have, I will retract my MFs to them and I will admit that I did something wrong and I will explain how to do it correctly. That's it. That's all I got for you. I got other shit to do. If you have any questions, comments, if you're using any of these things and you're having better success, like maybe you're using the Tappy card. I mean, once I saw the thing for Tappy, I started, like over the next several weeks, sort of seeing tons of different kinds of these things. And, you know, whatever. But if you are using something like that and you're having better success than I am, or you know how to use this Mobilo shit, let me know in the comments down below. But that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.